Thank you for partnering with CMYK Hub. Welcome to our short tutorial of Hublink. By now you should have received your login credentials to access Hublink. This will enable you to quote, order, track the progress of your order and pay your invoices. The quote section allows you to generate instant pricing for 90% of our product range. Standard product encompasses CMYK Hub's most common paper stocks, standard sizes, standard finishes or templates. These are our most economically priced products and produced in the quickest time frame. Each product is listed on the left. Variations of the product, for example, size and stock, are listed under product. Options available for that prior selection, for example, print one or two side, laminate combinations or embellishment are listed under option. Kinds are the amounts of artwork you wish to order, for example, five different business card names. Quantity is the amount per kind, for example, five kinds of 250 is 1250. The format indicates the orientation, however, this really is dependent on your artwork. You can quote multiple quantity options in a single quote over to the right here. The final trim size can be edited using this box. However, this changes a standard product to a custom size, so it charges $10 extra. Custom sizes, quantities or finishes are often easier to quote using the offset or digital flat sheet section, which I'll show you shortly. Unless you are quoting a booklet, the final trim size is always the flat, unfolded or unfinished dimensions. Additional options provide finishing and packaging preferences to add to your order. These vary depending on the product. You will find a mix of offset, digital and wide format products in standard product. If you can't find what you require, then you might need to venture into these other sections to build your own quote. Offset and digital flat sheet follow a similar format, however provide greater flexibility with size, quantity, stock and finishing. You can select a flat finish size that you can choose from from the drop down or type your own custom dimensions. You can type whatever quantity you wish into this quantity box. You can select how many kinds. You can pick from our standard paper list, which are our most commonly ordered and most competitively priced stocks. Alternatively, you can click all paper and type to search the paper you would prefer. You have a much greater list of finishing options to choose from under offset and digital flat sheet. Again, this will vary depending on your flat finish size and paper stock. The beauty of using the flat sheet quoting tool is that it allows you to toggle between digital or offset printing using this checkbox. So if you're unsure of the quantity or paper stock you've selected should be printed offset or digital, you can tick and untick to review the change in price. You will find the standard papers will mostly be cheaper printed offset for quantities of 500 and above, depending on your size. The stocks found under all paper will often be cheaper printed digital at much greater quantities, as we don't run them offset very often. Wide format works very similar to offset and digital flat sheet. We have four material sections to choose from. Roll media for posters, banners, or magnets. Rigid media for flatbed printed signage, displays, and cartons. Large adhesives for larger vinyl signage. And stickers for smaller vinyl adhesive products. There are a number of finishing options for each product available under additional options. Again, these will vary from stock to stock. Please ensure you review our provided spec sheets and product recommendations before ordering. If you are ever unsure, please contact our quotes or support team. Alternatively, you can jump on the live chat here for real-time assistance at any stage of using Hublink. You can follow the prompts or ask us your own question and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Booklets follow a similar interface as offset and digital flat sheet. As mentioned earlier, the main difference is that we always follow the folded finish size for books. If you have a custom size, please contact the quotes team to provide you a custom quote. The main thing to remember with booklets 
is that the printer pages of the text pages is listed here. If you wish to add a custom cover, then you need to select here and add one. This example will provide you with a 12 page booklet, 8 pages for the text and 4 pages for the custom cover. You can select 4 different binding options for digital and 3 for offset. Some of these are limited to page numbers. Saddle Staple is a maximum of 96 pages on light paper stock and no cover. Perfect binding needs to be at least 3mm thick for the glue to be held in the spine, so that is around 36 pages with a cover printed on 170GSM. We recommend adding a laminate to the outer cover of all digitally printed books, especially perfect bound to avoid cracking and scuffing on the spine. Just like the flat sheet tool, you can toggle between offset and digital to present the cheapest method of production. With every order, you can deliver to centre, which is your address, to customer, which is an address you can enter into the fields provided, or you can select pickup from your local production hub. Blind shipping indicates that you don't want any of your details on the delivered carton. There is never anything related to CMYK Hub on the delivered item. We can add your logo to the box labels if you supply us a JPEG. Reseller samples are overs on the job for your records which we can send out to you. This reference box is for your information. This might be a purchase order number or your client name. This will be listed on the invoice. Notes is the opportunity to communicate with our pre-press, planning or production team. This might be requesting a delivery date, nominating a CMYK color finder chart reference to match, or explaining the finishing in greater detail. The trade price you pay is this figure here. If you return the 30 day account forms and are approved, we can provide you access to a discounted price when you decide to pay with order. The markup, retail and profit section below is purely for your own use if you're using our platform to quote your client. To place your order, you can simply click save and then order. Make sure you've selected the correct quantity and then select your payment preference. Then you are ready to upload your artwork. Here we have the option to drag and drop link from your Dropbox account, which is great for larger files, or find a file on your PC. Click Finish, and your order should move to pre-flight status, unless you've selected to pay with order, in which case this needs to be completed prior to production starting using this button, or you can do so under the Statement tab. The Statement tab allows you to pay multiple invoices all at once. All of your saved but unordered estimates are listed on your quotes page. These are valid for 60 days from the date of issue. You can generate your own PDF quote letter at the bottom of each quote page. Once a quote becomes an order, it disappears from the quotes page and you'll find it in the orders tab. This provides an overview of all your orders. This includes the estimated dispatch date, the delivery, the payment status, order date, price, artwork thumbnail, and production status. For greater detail of each order, you can click through via the order number to review further. If you wish to duplicate an order, you can do this in the order detail page by clicking the quote number and then selecting Save Copy. A new quote with the same details is now generated and ready to place a new order. The artwork will need to be uploaded again as we do not hold on to artwork files longer than the time required to produce your order. Thanks for watching. If you need help with anything, please contact the relevant department here.